another masterpiece from Tenke Fungurumu. I think let's start with the most unappealing aspect of this specimen, which would be the matrix. And quite typical to Tenke, you have this almost appreciation. You see there, running across the line. But let's start on this side now. We have on top of this matrix, we have a very thin layer of Krasakola. Which, uh, which in some cases has traces of uh, heterogenite, which would be uh, uh, black to silver metallic botroids, which again, uh, the whole uh, lot has been coated by a layer of minuscule druzy quartz crystals, giving it a lovely blink. Now when we go into this vag here, you'll see there's a dusting of tiny crystals over the druzy quartz, which would perhaps be some malachites or perhaps be some... Uh, uh, Vizignia right or other uh, uh, rarities from the from this deposit. Um, there seems to be a bit of malachite across there as well, quite typically associated. So this is the the, the variety of the uh, from Tenke with uh, uh, the Krasakola associated with uh, Druzy quartz versus the Chalcedony. Uh, uh, associated with the druzy quartz, which usually uh, occurs uh, as crusts around uh, uh, underlying malachite, which have replaced barite crystals. From a, a display point of view, quite, quite appealing. Displayed around like this, all the way around like this, across like this. And then, of course, you could have it going this way around, where you want to look into that cavity. Quite, quite exquisite. Uh, Hand-sized specimen. Good size as well. This is also very, very appealing. And this is all, these are all tiny, tiny druzy quartz crystals, full of bling bling. Thousands, thousands of tiny quartz crystals. And look at that interesting faint coloration there. That could perhaps be some Bayildonite. 